um, it was Claire Bear who baked this meal. Oh, oh, okay. It's um, less than five eh? Shall we be? First, place a selection of beads, pearls, and sequins onto a bead tray. Have your size 10 bead embroidery needle and beading thread handy. These beads and more are available in a little bead package from my website. Included are size 15 seed beads, sequins, and pearls. Some of the ephemera designs are nicely suited for a little more embellishment. Add some sparkle to the ephemera with sequins, each anchored with a seed bead. Using beading thread, bring your needle to the top, slip a sequin and then a seed bead onto the needle, slide the sequin only down to meet the fabric. Stitch around the seed bead and back into the sequin and the fabric, taking your thread to the underside. Anchor your thread on the underside by taking three whip stitches in place. Now the ephemera has its first layer of embellishment. Now let's sew the beads to the accent shape. I've gotten a little head start. The five pearl sets are spaced about one eighth of an inch apart along the top edge. Each set consists of two size 15 seed beads and one three millimeter pearl. To start, bring your needle to the outer top edge and stitch again in place. Slip one seed, one pearl, and one seed bead onto the needle. Snuggle the bead set against the edge and stitch back into the cardboard from the front to the back. The set will want to fall forward to the front side, so to keep this from happening, stitch through the last seed bead from the back side, pull thread taut, then stitch back into fabric or a bit of the cardboard. Add single beads to the edge in a similar manner. Bring the needle to the outer edge, slip a contrasting shade of seed bead onto the needle, Stitch into the cardboard very close to the edge from the front to the back. Pull your thread taut. Sew back up through the seed bead and then straight down into the shape. Move needle to the next spot about one eighth of an inch away and continue in this manner until you're done. It can be a little tough to grab some of the cardboard with this process. The Timtex and Peltex option might be a good solution for you. Okay, so I have completed the beading for this piece. And I have marked on here where I want the trims and the message to go. I steamed a little bend into the message. Position the message in between two beads on either side of the shape. Wrap the ends to the underside and glue in place. Don't forget to flip and flatten. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of beads and sequins to this little piece, and then we're going to start putting trims on. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. It's trim time. Cut the first trim to size. Glue the edge of the trim to the underside edge of the accent shape using a toothpick to apply the glue. Position the edge in place on the underside. Finish gluing this first trim in place. And don't forget to flip and flatten. Now apply the delicate lace to the accent shape. This is a French lace and it has a fine thread along the upper edge that can be pulled to gather the lace. Locate that thread if it's an option for you. Pull gently on thread so that it gathers very slightly but not to where it ruffles unless that's what you'd prefer. Start gluing the tiny edge of the lace to the underside edge of the accent shape. 
overlapping onto the first trim a little tiny bit. Use a toothpick to apply the glue and push glue all the way to the outer edge. Taper your lace at the beginning and ending where overlapping. Many times I practice what I will do next to establish short-term muscle memory. Then I go for it. Flip and flatten, then adjust the lace as needed. Now it's time to either sew or glue the cherry blossoms in place. Choose trims for the piece of ephemera. Glue trims to the underside edge where desired. For this design, for the beautiful things design, one trim is glued to the upper underside edge of the ephemera, but the second trim will be glued in place after the ephemera is positioned onto the banner front. Sometimes I use three trims. In the next lesson, we will complete beautiful things.